Hello everyone, it's so awesome that you guys can join us here today. As we're in lockdown, things are getting longer and getting bigger, just like my beard is getting even bigger and bigger and bigger in this lockdown, because I've got nothing to shave it with. But today we've got an amazing story for you guys. And also something you guys must know is that next week is Mother's Day. So don't forget about that, because I want to do something extra special. If you guys can make a Mother's Day card, and maybe you can ask dad or you can even ask your brothers or sisters to help you make a Mother's Day card and you can send it to me. You can take a photo and you can send it to me and I'll put my number up on the screen so you guys can send your photos to me. And next week, in next week's video, I'm going to put up all those pictures so that everyone can see them and you can show your mom that you made a card and how it can appear on the TV, on your phone, on your laptop, wherever you're watching. So today's story, let's get right into it. It's another parable that Jesus told. So it's going to be an interesting story. So I wonder, what could this be? Anybody got any ideas? Could be a snake. Could be a chocolate river, perhaps. Could be a road. Now I wonder, what could these be? Hmm. A blindfold. Or footsteps. I wonder what else they could be. Well, I'll put them here because they're kind of like shadows where people can hide behind. Right, let's see what else we need for our story. So we've got our one city over here, which is the city of Jerusalem. And we've got another city over here at the other end of the road. So Jesus told the story of who your neighbor is. There was once someone who was on his way from Jerusalem down to Jericho. And as he went along his way, walking on the one side of the road, he was attacked by robbers from behind the shadows. They hurt him and they took everything he had and they left him on the side of the road. He wasn't in a good shape. He was hurting quite a lot. And the robbers, they ran off with everything they could take. And there was also a great priest of the temple who went on the road from Jerusalem down to Jericho. And as he went along his way, he came to the place where the traveler was who had been hurt. But he walked on the other side of the road, not wanting to help him at all, leaving him half dead. There was also someone who worked at the temple who went from Jerusalem down to Jericho. He was one of the people who had helped priests in the temple and was supposed to be a good man. He was called the Levite. And when he saw the man on the side of the road, he walked on the other side, not wanting to help him at all. There was also a person on the road who did not live in Jerusalem but he was visiting from a country called Samaria, and these people did not like the Israelite people very much. But when he came to the stranger, and he saw that he was hurt, he put him up on a donkey, wrapped him in some clothes, and he traveled with him to Jericho. He went and put him in an inn, and he paid the innkeeper to look after him. And even the next day he came to help and see what else he could do. And the stranger stayed with him. So I wonder, who was the person that was being so neighborly? Was it him? Or him? Was it him? Was it him? I wonder if it was him. 
Or was it him? I wonder, what do you think would change about the story if all of these people were children? Would something be different? Thank you guys for joining us today. It's been wonderful that you guys are able to uh, to sit and, and, and listen to our lesson. We're going to do something extra special. We are going to actually do an awesome worship song. So on the screen, I want you guys to follow all the actions that's going to happen. And you guys can sing along and dance along with our worship song that we're going to do now. And also, don't forget that next week is Mother's Day. So make your card and send it to me. My number is going to be on the screen just over here. And you guys can send it through. And next week, it's going to be on your screen. So it's going to be awesome. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week further. So let's get together and let's dance and have some worship time together. You're the only one
So let's finish off with a prayer. Can you guys repeat after me and close your eyes and bow your heads? Can we do that? Cool. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for always being with me. And that in today's lesson, we learned how to be a good neighbor. We learned how to love others. We learned how to love you. And God, we know you love us. Amen. So don't forget your Mother's Day cards. And I'll see you guys next week.